In this video, I will show you how to add the multi-language support to your ASP.NET web application. So I will be using the documentation of Microsoft that you can find on this page. You can find this URL in the description of this video. Now we need to configure our application. So let's open this file which is program.cs. And first we need to provide the location of the resources. So in our case, we will add the resources into a folder called resources. So just here, we have to add the following statement. So later we have to create this folder and inside this folder, we need to create our resources. Then we need to configure the localization services. So just here after the add razor pages, just here between add razor pages and before the semicolon, we have to add the following code. And here we have an error. So we have just to add the corresponding namespace, which is the first one. Then we need to configure the localization middleware. So just after this statement, we have to add the following statements. So here our application will support these two languages. Of course, you can modify them and you can add other languages. So this is all for this file. We can save it and let's close it. Now let's create a new razor page that allows the user to change the language. So we can create the new razor page in the pages folder. Let's select the razor page empty, then add. And here let's select the razor page empty and we can call it lang.cshtml. Of course, you can choose any name. Then we will not modify the page, but we need to update the model. So let's make a right click, then view code. And then we have to update the onGet method. So here we can see that we have some errors. So let's add the corresponding namespace. So first of all, we will read the requested language. So we suppose that in the URL, we have a parameter called culture and culture here is the requested language. This statement allows us to print the requested language on the console. This can be useful for any debugging purpose. And if the requested language is not null, then we will update the cookie. So our application will save the requested language into a cookie and like this, it will remember what is the requested language of the user. And here we can see that we will save the requested language into the cookie. Then we will read the URL of the previous page from which the user requested to change the language. And we will redirect the user to the previous page. Now let's save this file and let's close it. Now let's add a drop down list in the navbar of the application to allow the user to change the language. So we have to go to the shared folder and to open the layout file. And after this UL element, we will add a new UL element that contains a drop down list. So in this drop down list, we have the name of the current language and we have two options. The first option is this language, which is English. And the second option is for this language, which is French. And when we select English, then we will go to this page, which is Lang, the page that we have already created. And we will provide it with the language that is requested by the user, which is English. And if we select the second option, so we will go to the same page, which is Lang, and we will provide it with a parameter called culture, which is equal to FR for French. Now to add the multi-language support to the different pages, we need to inject the iView localizer. So we have to inject it into the file called uh, view imports. And just here we can add the following statements. So here we will add the namespace and here we will create an object of type iView localizer. Now we can use this object in the different pages. So let's save this file and you can close it. 
So first, let's create a new resource file to add the multi-language support for this layout file. So we need to create a new folder inside our application. So just here, we have to make a right click, then add, then new folder. And we configured our application to look for the resources into a folder called resources. So here we have to write resources. Then to create a resource file for this layout file, we have to follow this path. So because the layout file is available in the pages folder and the shared, we have to create two folders here. The first folder is called pages. And the second folder is called shared. Then let's add the resources for this file for the different supported languages. And because our application supports two languages, which are English and French, I will create two resource files. So we have to choose add, then new item. And in this list, we have to find the resources. So this is a resources file. And because it is a resource file for the layout file, here we have to start with the name of the file. So it is underscore layout, then dot, then the language. So this file will be for English. So let's add en for English. And let's add another resource file for French. So it is a resource file. It is for the file underscore layout dot then the language, which is French. So let's write FR. Let's press enter. So here we have these two resource files. Let's go to the layout file. And let's display the name of this home item. So let's delete this name. Let's add at, then the name of the object that we have injected, which is localizer. And between brackets, we have to provide the name of the resource. So here, let's suppose that we have a resource called home. Now let's define this resource into the resources files. So here, let's define it. It is called home. And for the French version, we have to provide it with a value. Now let's define this resource in the English version. So here it is home. And its value is home. Then let's change the name of the second item. Then let's define this resource. Let's copy it. And let's use it just here. Now let's save these files and let's close them. Now let's add the multi-language support to the home page. So the home page is available in the pages folder and is called index.cshtml. Then let's create two resource files for this page. So this page is available in the pages folder. So we have to create the resource files in the pages folder of the resources folder. Let's select the resources file. And here the name should be the name of the razor page, which is index dot the language. Let's create another resource file. So this one, let's call it index.fr. Then let's display the title. So let's delete this value. Let's add localizer. 
and the name of the resource, which is, let's suppose, title. Of course, we need to define it. So let's go to the resources file. Here, let's define the title. Then let's display the title of the page. So let's delete this value. Let's add at localizer. Let's define this resource. Then let's display this paragraph. So we can cut this paragraph. And let's replace it with at localizer. Now let's define this resource. Now let's save the files and let's test the application. So now the application is displayed in English and here we can see that we have a drop down list with two options English or French. Let's select French and now we can see that the page is displayed in French.